Good morning friends, welcome back to my channel Coding Environment. Uh, in today's video, we are going to continue the last video where we are trying to get the maximum profit by buying and selling the stocks, right? So let me state this problem, what it is saying is that we have been given one array and the elements in this array represents the price of share on any given day also we can buy and sell it multiple times so just assume that the element is seven one uh, five three six and four now what the condition states that we can we can buy buy and sell it multiple times so this is the one variable in last we have to buy and sell it only once here we can do it multiple times and we have to first buy and then sell and the third one is like we have to follow the sequence like buy sell and then again buy and then again sell and so on we cannot do buy 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 and sell 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 so this is this is not this is not applicable okay so let's see how we can solve this problem so if you're going through this array and this problem what we can see that for any given day like any zeroth day or one day two day or three fourth or fifth day any given day we have the option to either buy buy or sell or do nothing right do nothing and move to move to next index so at this point also we have the option to buy or sell and do nothing and move to the next step okay there is one more variable here which says that if we have bought it we cannot buy it again right we have to sell it so there is one variable will also get into picture which says that if you have bought a share at the previous day then you cannot buy it again so the buy and sell depends on the previous transaction also right so previous transactions also will put the constraint on buying and selling of the stock so if you see we can we can uh, so just for this reference i can give the array again here which is seven one uh, five three five three six and four okay so So for this reference, so what we have to do is like we have to compute the profit on every index or we have to compute all the transactions on the all the indexes and see what profit we are going to get. So to do that, we if we have to compute the transactions or all the possibilities at every index, we have to go for recursion, right? So we can solve this problem through recursion. Again, we can solve this problem through, through different method also, which we can see in the later part of this video. But let's see how we can solve this problem with recursion. So in recursion, what we have to do is like we have to represent this array or this problem in the form of indexes, right? So here you can just assume that I have a function where i is representing the index. And there is one more variable we have to consider which states that if we have bought the share on the previous day, again we cannot buy it, we have to sell it, right? So there will be one variable which indicates that you can buy the share on the current day or not. If you have bought it at the previous day, you cannot buy it, right? So for that we have to contain this variable also. Now just try to create a flow diagram with this buy variable. So, 
with this by variable and if we say that if by is equal to 0 it means by of the share is allowed and if it is not equal to 0 it is not allowed so you, at that time you have to sell it so now if we have the by variable it can go as a like it can by is equal to 0 or by is not equal to 0 right so if by is equal to 0 suppose you are at this position at this position fifth and if you are saying that if buy is equal to 0 it means this buy of the share is allowed right so you have two options again either you can buy the share or you can skip it and move to the next index so suppose if you are moving to the next index basically you are not doing any operation and then calling the next index where you are passing i plus 1 and then buy variable okay so this is this one now if you are saying that i i want to buy it so here it is saying no buy and here it is saying buy so now if you want to buy it basically you have to expend money from your pocket right so this is not a profit this will go as a negative so how much amount you are going to spend on buying of the sale you have to spend basically minus of that array uh, and that index right so this is the amount you have to spend while buying that share and then this and then plus you have to go to the next index so i plus one and when you have sell when you have bought the share here again you cannot buy it right so here what you have to pass you have to pass like if buy is equal to zero right so here you can pass it as a one now assume this the second part so where buy is not equal to zero it means that you cannot buy the share right so here you, you cannot buy it but you can sell it right so here again you have two choices either sell the share or don't sell the share don't sell the share now if you are selling the share basically you are going to get a profit so this you can represent as array of that particular index and then moving it to the next index i plus 1 but just assume that you have sell the share right so again you cannot sell it so what if you have to buy the share right so here you have to pass it as a zero in this case if you don't want to sell the share you are basically doing nothing and moving to the next index so here f i plus 1 and then you, as you are moving to the next index you don't have to do anything so here you can pass it just as a buy now we are trying to convert uh, convert this full flow chart into the code let's see how we can convert it so here you can see right if you have uh, this index at any given day what you have uh, what you have that uh, option right there is if i say uh, first option is if buy is equal to 0 it means you can buy the share so the option 1 is sorry the option 1 indicates that you don't want to do anything so basically you are skipping to the next index so i plus 1 you are passing and passing this by variable what will be the next one so option 2 is like you want to buy so you have to spend money from your pocket so it will go as a negative plus function of i uh, plus 1 and then here basically you are passing the buy so the next time you you cannot buy it so you have to pass one or any other value other than zero basically so this is the option one right now what you have to do in the option two like suppose if buy is not equal to zero right so uh, okay not we can represent it as a not equal to zero in this case again you have two options you cannot buy it but you can sell it so the option one is like okay we will go as like we, we don't want to do anything so it is i plus 1 and then if you don't want to do anything pass it as a buy and option 2 is you want to 
you want to sell that share, right? So you, if you want to sell that share, you basically are going to get the profit of that day and then pass I plus one and then it you can pass it as a like, uh, if you have sold the share, basically you can again buy it. So in this case, you have to pass it as a zero because if zero indicates that you can buy in the next day. So this is the two condition or this is the condition which I have explained it here. So this is this full condition, I have tried to convert it into in form of indexes. So, uh, so this is the index, right? Now, in that uh, recursion, we have to see what is the maximum value of, of this, right? So basically, we have to do it as a like integer and return the max value of your, uh, basically, we, so we have to return the max value, right? So integer max, and then we have to do OP1 or OP2. So this is basically your recursion call. So if, if I'm trying to just explain this again. So he, see here, this is the recursion method. And in this method, what I have done is I have just converted this diagram into a form of code. So if pi is equal to zero, basically it indicates that pi of share is allowed, okay? And if buy is not equal to zero, it means basically buy is not allowed. Buy is not allowed. Okay, so so if buy is allowed, what what are the options you have? Either you can buy it or you can not buy it. So if you're not buying it, basically you're doing nothing. In this case, zero plus moving to the next index. And if you have sold it, what you have to do is like basically if if you have buy if you have bought it. Basically, spend money from your pocket. So it will go as a negative here. And then you have to move to the next index saying that you cannot buy it again, right? So instead of zero, you have to pass it as a one. Similarly, in this case also, if this is zero, you can sell it or you cannot sell it also. So if you cannot sell it, it will go as a like, uh, if, if you don't want to sell it, it, it means you are not doing anything. So it is zero and I plus one, then buy. So in the next, next uh, index or next day, you can again sell it. But if you have sold it, like if you've got the profit of that particular day, if you're moving to the next day, then you can buy it. Again, don't, you cannot sell it, right? So it is zero here. And then you have to return that maximum value of option one and option two. So this is all the recursion call. So let's run this code on Eclipse and see what the output we are going to get. So before running this, let me explain what I have written. Uh, if you see the code, basically I have written the same thing as uh, what I have explained in the previous uh, slides, okay? So if you see here, this is the recursion call, which is get max profit. And here I am passing one index and one Boolean variable y, by. And a part of that I am passing that array and that length of that array also. So this is like to just read the value from the array and the, this n will be used to uh, in the base condition. So this in will be used for the base condition. So if you see here, the index, when that uh, recursive call will get break, right? So when you are reaching to the last of the index, when that uh, you have already processed all the value of the index, you are going to break that loop. So this is the base condition of that recursion call. And if you see, these are the two uh, blocks which I explained last time, if the buy is here I have taken that as a like true or false. So if buy is true, you are going to buy the uh, share and if it is not true, you cannot buy, basically you can sell it only. So in the case of buy, if you see this is the price, I have put a negative here, right? So basically you're going to spend the money while buying the share. So this is price of index plus get max profit of price I plus one and in this, if you have already bought it, you cannot buy in the next uh, cycle, right? So, or in the next day. So this is not of that. And similarly in the sell, if you have sold it, you have to do not of this. Else you can just buy that, that else you can just pass that variable buy for the next day. If you're not doing basically anything on that particular day, you have to just pass the same variable to the next day. But if you have done any operation, like if you have buy, bought it, you have to pass it as a like not of that that value, right? You have to pass it as a sell. So for sell, you have to do the not of that buy. Now, if you just run this code, you can see what the output we are going to get. 
So see here, this is the max profit you are going to get. And this you can get it by uh, buying the share on this day, like one, and then sell it on fifth. Again, you can buy it on three and then sell it on six. So if you do this operation, you are going to get the maximum profit at seven. So this is the way you can solve this problem using recursion. You can solve this problem by using memoization also. But as this video is going long, I will try to solve that problem into the next video. Till then, if you have any doubt, you can write it in comment section. And if you have understood this problem, uh, you can give me a thumbs up or like button on this video and share with your friends also. Till then, have a great day and goodbye.